What is up guys, I Dubai Help here, and Apple has officially released iOS 10.2 to everyone across the world. Now you can go ahead and update right now if you're not looking to jailbreak by going to general software updates and you'll be prompted to update to 10.2. Now if you're running the latest beta iOS 10.2 beta 7, don't worry, you're on the latest build, you don't need to update. You're on an official release as of right now. I quickly want to run over some of the new features and security enhancements with iOS 10.2. The first thing you'll notice after you update is the brand new TV application which is going to be replacing the videos application. You can still download the videos applications from the list of apps inside of the app store that pertain to Apple but the TV application is going to be taking over the entire uh, video experience or movie and TV show experience on your iOS device. You can connect with one single sign in to all of your iOS devices to all these different services and more are added each time. Of course you can purchase uh, new movies and TV shows directly from the application and add new services to your account. Now there's two new extensions inside of settings. Uh, number one being uh, the TV extension which is going to allow you to manage your TV application sign in and sharing uh, those services with other devices and you also have your provider section. Now this section here is going to allow you to sign in to any of your uh, TV providers whether it's satellite or cable and you can sign in uh, once single sign in for all of your devices through this method or this section here uh, depending on which one you have. More are going to be added as iOS 10.2 uh, keeps evolving or iOS 10 rather keeps evolving and you'll be able to watch the movies and TV shows on one device and then continue watching it on another device in case you're traveling or anything like that. Now another cool thing that iOS 10.2 brings is a ton of new emojis. Look at all these new emojis. If you haven't been watching my beta coverage, uh, you may not have noticed this, but new emojis on 10.2 are present. The colors are also a lot nicer. They look very nice, very vivid uh, entirely. I think it's 100 new emojis altogether that Apple added to 10.2. When it comes to additional features to the operating system, SOS is not present on the US. It's available in India. Gives you the ability to click on the power button five times and the emergency contacts will be contacted or the emergency services will be contacted in the region. Again, only in India, Apple has stated that it is present. We have some new Siri uh, UI. So when you turn Siri off, uh, you get a new UI in order to enable Siri. Uh, again, if you haven't been watching my beta coverage, that is why I'm going through all of these here quickly. Uh, there's also uh, some additional features inside of the accessibilities and home button section. You now have the ability to set the home button to different actions. As you can see there, you now have a Siri voiceover and off action as well, alongside the speed of the home button. And you have the rest to open, which was available before. So those new options are also available within the accessibilities feature. Now, if we go to messages, and say we want to go ahead and send a brand new uh, screen or screen animation, a screen effect. You now have two new ones uh, since iOS 10 was released. The Send With Love is now available. And you also have, in addition to the ones that were added, you also have this one here, which is the celebration effect. So those two new effects are in within the messages application with iOS 10.2. Now I want to go over some of the uh, security enhancements that Apple added to 10.2, including the lock screen bypass, which was fixed on all of these devices. Unfortunately, Apple has yet to uh, officially release an update to older devices that do not support iOS 10. I was hoping for them to do that. Uh, of course, I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, there it is. It is absolutely fixed. They even credited me there. Uh, as you can see, iDevice help. So I was credited for that lock screen bypass, providing that information to Apple. So very important information as well coming with the security part of iOS. Now in terms of speed, if there's any speed differences, you won't really notice them from beta 6 to beta 7. I covered it in the uh, speed differences are not drastic. You'll know the OS is going to be rolling smoothly as you would expect. Nothing has changed in terms of performance. Everything is where it should be. If you're looking to jailbreak, I do want to address something quickly. Uh, the best bet if you want to jailbreak is it's to stay on iOS 10.1.1 or below. Okay, so if you want to jailbreak, I would suggest to stay on iOS 10.1.1 as of right now. That is the best option for those who want to jailbreak. Of course, it is all entirely up to you if you want these uh, new security enhancements with iOS 10.2 and all these new features. Well, of course, you're going to want to upgrade. But for those jailbreakers that have been around, you know, staying on the oldest firmware to jailbreak always been the best bet and that about brings it into this video the software update is available for all devices by going to general and software updates and settings and go ahead and download it right now i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the latest release of ios 10 it's been my device help and i will catch you guys on the next one peace